Captain Forest here, bring you guys another Death Bow prediction video. In today's prediction video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and predictions on who I think wins more often than not in a Death Bow situation, Goku versus Superman. Now this is Death Bow's third time at this, first and second uh, attempts, they had Superman taking victory, and I think Superman will take victory again in the third one. I'm not sure what they're going to be using and what reasons, you know, they'll have on the table if they decide to side with Goku for the third time, you know, you know, for this, for this third occasion, I should say. I'd be very interested to hear their decisions if they do go with that route. Now, I think Superman's going to take victory again and I'm going to give my reasonings. Now, of course, people have a very a uh, strange interpretation of DC. They think DC only caps at multi plus and it's only 60. They're completely taking the cosmology out of scaling. It just goes to show their lack of understanding of the tiering system, uh, of the context behind these realms. They're not normal space time. They're not like dimensional realms. They're not bound by dimensionality. They're actually conceptual realms as Superman has shown tremendous might and feats for his time in rebirth so of course in rebirth you have superman who completely surpassed himself like base form superman is just way too strong right now like he surpasses all his previous amped feats like him one-shotting the world forger is way above that superman was able to one-shot uh barbatos with one punch literally just one shot his ass no problems no difficulty you have Superman literally beaten the little breaks of Darkseid. And just like with the whole event in Dark Crisis, you had Superman literally having statements of being stronger than the Dark Army themselves. So that's some huge scaling right there. And Superman, of course, getting more good statements, more blatant lower end feats of like there's a literal blatant out of versal feat and an out of and an out of versal statement. In his fight with Lex Luthor. Like that's as a low end. Because Superman is easily creation level. As a low end. You know. Easily reaching the levels of outerversal. High outerversal. Boundless and extraversal. I will be making a video on Superman. So I'll probably do like a power scaling video on him at some point. Um, because I have people asking for it. But I will do that. But regardless. Superman just has tremendous feats. Dragon Ball just doesn't compete, unfortunately. Like, Superman literally solos that verse on his own. Like, Goku, you know, he has a uni plus, low multi, multiversal plus, and if you want to stretch it, you can get him to 5D. If you use infinite Samasu stuff, yeah, Goku just is, it's not even a fight. Goku literally gets squished. It's not fair. Goku's not strong enough. He doesn't have the AP or the speed to keep up with Superman. Superman has casual and his own independent uh speed feats he has his own independent measurable and irrelevant speed feats casually just like his time in inside inside the source literally the concept of direction like like direction itself literally the the very concept of direction is not there there's no direction and he was able to move inside this place that is a direct irrelevant speed feat no Dragon Ball characters keeping up with that type of speed. Superman is just way too fast and way too powerful and he's just built too different. So even if you downplay Superman, I've heard people try and downplay Superman and say, oh, you know, what about like just multi plus? Bro has like, there's high hyperversal scaling with the bleed. So he'd still have AP over uh, Goku more often than not. And people don't understand the whole, you know, the whole idea of rebirth. Rebirth is a culmination of New 52 and post-crisis. So people who don't read enough DC, I have a lot of normie comments. People say, oh, you're, you're specifying different versions. They're the same thing. Rebirth is both 50, New 52 and post-crisis. So when I'm talking about post-crisis and New 52 feats, it, it's a culmination. It's like peanut butter and jelly when you put on a sandwich. It doesn't matter which one I talk about because it's they're all combined together. And even if I use New 52, because I did make an old video 
back in the day when I used lower end feats for Superman. Like New 52, uh, Superman would still beat Goku. He has higher scaling, bro. I have creation level stuff for New 52. I actually made a video on New 52. Uh, the verse itself, like New 52, um, being very strong, having their own powerful feats. Um, so even post crisis, Superman gets the job done, even if I was to not use the whole idea of rebirth. So more often than not, I think Death Battle will probably go with the same, you know, with the same common denominator, of course, with Superman winning. I'd be surprised if they chose not to do it the third time. I'd be very interested in their reasonings for why Superman couldn't beat Goku now. It just wouldn't make any sense just due to the blatant, blatant scaling of Rebirth Superman having new feats, especially with the events that have been happening and you know, Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball Super hasn't done anything in years. It's it's done you, you, unless you want to use other odd stuff, which wouldn't which wouldn't really amount to anything. But death battles all over the place when it comes to their scaling and their team. But it doesn't matter. I got Superman winning for the third time again. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Who do you think wins? And yeah, it's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.